हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल ऑल अबाउट इकोनॉमिक्स आई एम प्रज्ञा एंड टुडे इज वीडियो इज ऑन द टॉपिक कमर्शियल बैंक्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ कमर्शियल बैंक एंड द फंक्शंस परफॉर्म्ड बाय कमर्शियल बैंक विल आल्सो बी डिस्कसिंग द काइंड ऑफ डिपॉजिट अकाउंट्स लाइक करंट अकाउंट सेविंग्स अकाउंट एंड फिक्स डिपॉजिट अकाउंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ कमिंग टू द टॉपिक so what are commercial banks look when we listen to the word commercial what uh, automatically comes in our mind is something which is done with the intention of making profit and that's what exactly commercial banks do they serve us uh, with the intention of making profits uh, let's see the definition of commercial bank commercial bank is an institution which performs the functions of accepting deposits and granting loans making investments with the aim of earning profits so in the definition itself we talked about the functions performed by commercial bank which are accepting deposits and granting loans these are the primary functions which are performed by commercial bank we'll be discussing it later on right now what's two important things is first of all the functions of accepting deposit granting loans and second one is aim of earning profit so when we look around us we find so many commercial banks like uh, in india we have state bank of india punjab national bank allahabad bank canara bank these all are commercial banks so how do we know that they are commercial banks because they accept deposits they grant loans and they also uh, provided some facilities which we'll be discussing and they all work under the central bank like in india we have reserve bank of india which is central bank so uh, these all banks perform and uh, performs under the guidelines of central bank now let us discuss about the functions of commercial bank so the functions of commercial banks are divided into two heads first one is primary functions and second one is secondary functions primary functions uh the both primary functions are same that we described in the definition that is accepting deposits and advancing of loans accepting deposits commercial banks accept deposits in several forms according to requirements of different sections of the society the main kinds of deposits are first one is current account deposit and we also call it demand deposits these deposits refer to those deposits which are repayable by the banks on demand that is the person who owns the account whenever he demands from the bank the money the bank has to pay it such deposits are generally maintained by businessmen with the intention of making transaction with such deposits so basically businessmen own these accounts they can be drawn upon by a check without any restriction so there is no upper limit uh, on the transaction number and the last one is banks do not pay any interest on these accounts rather bank impose service charge for running these accounts so uh, the person who is the owner of current account has to pay a service charge to the bank now the second one fixed deposits or time deposits fixed deposits refer to those deposits in which the amount is deposited with the bank for a fixed period of time so basically you deposit the money in the beginning and you get back the money on maturity you cannot withdraw the money in between such deposits do not enjoy checkable facility of course while you will be needing a check with you cannot withdraw the money and then these deposits carry a high rate of interest so uh, these are the fixed deposits account and aapne bahut par suna hoga fd todni padegi afd todwani padegi so that is basically that in case of emergency a person withdraws the money before the maturity so uh, in that case a uh, bank cuts some uh, cuts some charges for the, uh, and then gives the money now last one is saving deposits these deposits combine features of both current account deposits and fixed deposits the depositors are given check facility to withdraw money from their account but some restrictions are imposed on number and amount of withdrawals in order to discourage frequent use of saving deposits like uh, uh, atm transactions there is some uh, upper limit on the number of transactions that can be made in a month like you can withdraw only uh, suppose three times in a month from the your atm so whenever you go for the fourth time for withdraw the bank will charge you for that so that is what savings deposit account offers 
uh, they carry a rate of interest which is less than interest rate on fixed deposits so that is uh, we completed accepting deposits now advancing of loans now the second primary function of commercial bank is advancing of loans so whatever is deposited in the bank bank uh, keeping some cash reserves they use that money to grant loans to needy borrowers and they charge interest to them so uh, this is how the commercial banks earn so what they do commercial banks accept financial intermediaries whose main function is to collect savings from household sector and lend it to the productive sector so the rate at uh, the rate of interest at which commercial banks accept deposits is known as borrowing rate that is the rate uh, interest rate that is offered on fixed deposit account and savings account and then the rate at which banks lend out their reserves to investors is called lending rate and obviously lending rate is higher than the borrowing rate and the difference between them is known as spread which is the profit earned by commercial banks now we'll discuss different types of loans and advances made by commercial banks so uh, first one is cash credit cash credit refers to a loan given to the borrower against his current assets like shares stocks bonds etc a credit limit is sanctioned and the amount is credited in his account the borrower may withdraw any amount within his credit limit and the interest is charged on the amount actually withdrawn so basically a bank jo hai aapko aapke shares stock bonds ye sab dekhte hue aapke account mein credit kar deta hai ek balance suppose kijiye bank ne aapko ek क्रेडिट कर दिया लेकिन आपने उसमें से सिर्फ बीस हजार रुपए जो है आपने यूज की इतनी ही आपको जरूरत थी तो जो इंटरेस्ट चार्ज होगा वो सिर्फ उस बीस हजार रुपए में होगा एक लाख का जो क्रेडिट हुआ है ट्रांसफर उस पर नहीं होगा now the next type of loan is demand loans demand loans refers to those loans which can be recalled on demand by the bank at any time the entire sum of demand loan is credited to the account and interest is payable on the entire sum so basically bank jo hai wo demand kar lega kisi bhi time pe aur aapko jo hai pay karna padega bank ko usi time pe aur isme jo jitna sum hai jitna total bank ne diya hai us pure pe interest rate jo hai wo charge hota hai so third one is short term loans They are given as personal loans against some collateral security. The money is credited to the account of borrower, and the borrower can withdraw money from his account. And interest is payable on the entire sum of loan granted. So, uh, इसमें जो collateral है, वो देना पड़ता है. Personal loans ही तरह ये मिलते हैं. और फिर जो इसमें interest है, वो देना पड़ता है आपको. ठीक है? So, these are the different types of loans and advances made by commercial banks. Now we'll be discussing the secondary functions which are performed by commercial banks. So let us take a look at that. First one is overdraft facility. It refers to a facility in which a customer is allowed to overdraw his current account up to an agreed limit. So, जितना आपके पास bank में balance है current account में, आप उससे ज़्यादा pay कर सकते हैं. Bank आपको facility देता है कि वो आपकी तरफ से pay कर देगा. लेकिन बाद में वो आपसे वो obviously charge करके कुछ वापस ले लेगा. So, this facility is generally given to respectable and reliable customers for a short period, and customers have to pay interest to the bank on the amount overdrawn by them. Second one is discounting bills of exchange. So, इसमें आपका it refers to a facility in which holder of a bill of exchange can get the bill discounted with bank before the maturity so basically agar do parties hain aur aapki party ne aapse bola hai ki aap 3 mahine baad aakar payment le lijiye aur ye kehkar usne aapko ek bill of exchange de diya hai aur aapko jo hai suppose 1 mahine baad hi paise ki zarurat padi to aap seedha bank ke paas jaiye aur usse discount karwa lijiye aur jab maturity hogi 3 mahine baad to bank jo hai wo second party se khud wo le legi money थर्ड वन इज़ एजेंसी फंक्शंस इसके कुछ सब पार्ट्स हैं लेट्स सी फर्स्ट इज़ ट्रांसफ़र ऑफ फंड्स जो बैंक है वो ट्रांसफ़र करती है फंड्स का डिमांड ड्राइव्स मेल ट्रांसफर सब करती है कलेक्शन एंड पेमेंट ऑफ वेरियस आइटम्स लाइक कमर्शियल बैंक्स जो है वो चेक्स बिल इंटरेस्ट सब्सक्रिप्शन रेंट्स ये सब कलेक्ट कर लेती है और पेमेंट करती है टैक्सीज इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम का अपने क्लाइंट्स के लिए थर्ड वन इज़ परचेज एंड सेल ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज सो इसमें आपका जो कुछ बैंक्स होती हैं जिनको स्पेशली आर बी आई जो ऑथोराइज करता है कि आप जो है डील कर सकते हैं फॉरन एक्सचेंज में सो दे बाई एंड सेल फॉरन एक्सचेंज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द कस्टमर्स एंड हेल्प इन प्रमोटिंग इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड 
Now the fourth one is purchase and sale of securities. Commercial banks buy and sell stocks and shares of private companies as well as government securities on behalf of their customers. Fifth one is income tax consultancy. They also give advice of uh, related matters relating to income tax and even prepare their income tax returns. Trustee and executor. Commercial banks preserve the wills of their customers as trustees and execute them after their death as executors. And the last one is letters of reference. They give information about the economic position of their customers to traders and provide the similar information about other traders to their customers. Now the last secondary function of the commercial bank is general utility functions. देखते हैं इसमें क्या है. First one is locker facility. तो commercial banks provide facility of safety vaults or lockers to keep valuable articles. Second one is travelers check. So banks issue travelers checks to their customers to avoid risk of taking cash during journey. Third one is letter of credit. They also issue letters of credit to their customers to certify their credit worthiness. And fourth one is underwriting securities. Commercial banks also undertake the task of underwriting securities. And as public has full faith in the credit worthiness of banks, public do not hesitate in buying the securities underwritten by banks. And the last one is collection of stats. Banks collect and publish stats relating to trade, commerce, and industry. Hence, they advise customers on financial market. So we learned in this video about the meaning of commercial bank and the functions performed by commercial bank. Hope you liked the video. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comment section. You can also follow us on Insta. Uh, the link has been attached in the description of the video. And thank you so much.